DedSec app installed. Your boring factory optic has been officially cracked, which means that your Bagley AI assistant has also been upgraded to the super intelligent, super useful, questionably ethical version. That's me, and you are a prospective DedSec recruit, a sweet supple summer fawn taking your first steps into the minefield that is London. Let's do our best to keep you alive, shall we? DedSec started as a hacker collective, but we evolved into a high-tech resistance that stands up for anyone who's tired of taking society's shit. Here's what we're up against today. We've got Clan Kelly, a criminal organization that uses the dark web to sell everything from pills to people. There's the crypto fascists at SARS who use London's world-class surveillance infrastructure to keep you oppressed. And there's the regular fascists at Albion who use boots and guns and stuff to do the same thing. Still interested? Thought so. Now here's the rub. In order to push back against the corrupt power structure of the city, DedSec had to grow, but the larger it got, the more it became part of that power structure itself. So, short version, we had to find a way to keep ourselves accountable. Stupid version, who DedSec's the DedSec? That's why we decentralized DedSec into a series of small, independent cells. Our civilian contacts identify threats to their communities, and these independent cells are free to deal with those threats however they want. Though to be honest, it usually involves a lot of stun guns and hacking. It's up to you to build one of these cells from the ground up. But before we make this marriage official, we have to make sure you're up to fighting hordes of highly trained mercenaries and drones with flesh-melting missiles. Between you and me, we've burnt through a lot of well-meaning dog walkers. You got all that? Good. Operative registration confirmed. You've been activated. Right, before you go around calling yourself a resistance cell, you're going to need at least one more person on your team. On it. Plus, then if you die, I've got a spare. Sorry, what? Nothing. You're going to be using something called influence to recruit them. We'll explain what that is later. If you've got enough, we'll contact any person you target and convince them to join. Now, have a look around and choose your first recruit. Smell nice, you're too close, mate. All right, you've got your cell. Now it's time for a little test drive. Great. I've got a little errand for you. A cop had had a few too many in the pub last week and blabbed up and down about this. Who the fuck are you? Did Bagley not mention me? Oh, honestly, my name's Connie, but some of your lot just call me the proprietor. I run the pub on top of that safe house over by Parliament. I guess you're all right then. Don't mind me, I'm new here. Yeah, jitters, it's all right. Come around later and we'll meet properly. Now it's time for your first mission. Bagley will push you the details. <laughs> We could always use more intel. Good thing you have me, and I have located a captain that has exactly what we need. Right, thanks. You're in. Now find the thing. Yeah, that's right. Wake up and do Fuck something! Yes. Power back to the people! 
Down. Oh. There it is. You can hack in from there. I will shoot you. <gasps> Shit, who's this? Charmed. I've stopped upstairs before, but never imagined any of this could be done here. Good, it's working then. A nice work with that little errand. I mean it. So, you were wondering about influence earlier? Go on. See, your dead sex cell is just one of many. Roughly, influence is how we keep track of your contributions to the larger dead sex network. You can use it to target a new operative for recruitment or for field upgrades like new equipment. The idea is that the more you put into the network, the more you can take out of it. Thanks. You're very welcome. Anyway, that's it for now. Get out there and do some good for people. We'll talk soon. tasks on the world map tab of your optic interface. If you're looking for something to do, start there. My predictive subroutines detect an imminent threat in this area. Stick around, your services may be needed. Uh, 
river's overflowing with... Yes, yes, we get it. Red Blade bad. Point is, I've traced their location here, giving you the opportunity to bust up an extensive extortion racket. Ooh, this could be... Seems the Red Blade have noticed your attempts to disarm them, and they're panicking. Rather than letting you ruin the remaining material, they're dumping it all online. And there's everything from reactor codes to medical records in here. So unless you want to read about your grand gonorrhea on the DBB, you might want to intervene.
blow things up, I got to shred some files. Everybody's happy. Except the Red Blade, of course, who are now intent on killing you and ruining the lives of everyone you love. into passing legislation in Albion's favour. This should weaken Albion's hold on London. Not to mention that no one will ever find out why you needed that topical cream. Personal favor to ask. A prospect I've been working on got himself in trouble. Good bloke, bit of a hothead. Fancies himself as a sort of lone wolf vigilante type. Go on. Connie's vigilante friend was investigating an Albion squad for assassinating targets on behalf of Clan Kelly. Gave me an address in case I didn't hear from him, and well, I haven't. Let's save this vigilante and finish what he started. There are four terminals on site that contain data about the Albion kill squad. I should be able to get his location from the devices too. Transfer complete. Transfer complete. Albion's arrangement with Clan Kelly is now public, and I've located the vigilante. 
Wherever this chap is, Albion must want him locked up for good. Albion has put an electronic nerve agent release in his restraints. If you try to take it off or move him before it's disabled, the nerve agent is released and poof, dead vigilante. Fuck me. It resets quickly too, so if you want to free him, you have to hack the detonator control at the same time you undo the restraints. Vigilante is safe now. I've tracked the Albion kill squad to a series of vehicles booby-trapped with the same nerve agent Albion have on our friend here. vehicles are nearby. Once you turn them on, you'll have a limited time to disarm the nerve agent before it kicks in and you kick the bucket. Drive the vehicles into the drink and you'll short the system and neutralize the gas. Just heard from my vigilante mate. Told him to head this way for a drink on the house and a smack in the gob. Maybe that'll convince him it's time to stop working alone. Or maybe it'll convince him that risking his life gets him free drinks. Just saying. Now that's what I call making waves. We've exposed this Albion kill squad and destroyed their arsenal to boot. Job well done.
Location sent, need a 10-13. It appears I've talked myself up a bit with that super-powered thing. I can't access this server. It's locked by a multi-key security system. If you find the key cards for the CTOS, you should unlock the server. Protected by a failsafe that overheats the device on which it's installed. In this case, the self driving car over there. The failsafe is kept in check by an external authenticator, which is now installed on the other vehicle. You'll have to steal both cars and keep them close together to prevent the app from blowing up the engine.
Come on. Stay close. Getting close to the drop off. You have reached your destination. Please apply the handbrake and leave the weaponized car for collection. Brilliant. We'll transfer the local file to a secure DedSec server. Keep Albion from, you know, blowing people to bits.